Aloha. My name is Jennifer O'Neill, and I teach people how to use the spiritual tools they were gifted with um, in their everyday life. So today I want to be talking about, I, talk, I spoke about the um, August eclipse energy and how it's basically really bringing in uh, clarity and it's that with this energy naturally a lot of things will fall into place for you that will allow you to tie up loose ends and things that have been bothering you and energetically things that have kind of been hanging around your system and then it's going to also bring clarity for uh, new projects new things uh, new directions uh, that you're going and it, that with this wave it's going to boost uh, give you a boost towards any direction with uh, something that you're trying to manifest or create and this is a super cool thing however I do have some Facebook groups and I have some people that are saying right now they're feeling a lot of uh, I guess I would say like uh, some are depressed some are um, feeling like they're having joint issues or physical issues uh, tired, lethargic, that sort of thing. And so I did really want to address this because I think it's a super important aspect of this wave coming through. So what happens when you have a wave come through where it's wanting to really clear out past stuff uh, such as this? Uh, this eclipse energy is really, it reminds me of like how people talk about January 1st, you know, everybody with New Year's resolutions, get rid of the old, bring in the new. Um, well, this is happening on a, a lunar scale and a solar scale right now. It's, it's really happening astrologically. So things want to be tied up and, and handled and like let released into the past. Um, this energy is trying to really help with that. So what happens is as it comes through, the energy is trying to take this stuff that you've held on to energetically because anything that you have um, had happen to you in the past or situations that you want to be handling um, or stuff that's just bugging you, uh, whether it's, you know, um, buying a new bed frame or, uh, you know, cleaning up the yard or whatever it is, anything that's not being handled, whether it's on paper or physically, uh, what happens is that that energy sticks in your energetic system. It hangs out in there something that's kind of stuck uh, that you're not, you know, that you're wanting to handle because it's on your mind. And when it's on the back of your mind, it is really, really manipulating around in your energetic system. So as these waves move through, they the wave is naturally wanting to take, it can actually tell the difference between a new manifestation energy and old energy or stagnant energy and so it comes through like a sweeper and it wants to clear out any old energy that you are releasing and you release them when you handle them so it's bringing clarity in allowing you to release these things and then it sweeps them out and as it sweeps them out then another wave and more energy comes in to, that's manifesting type energy and it helps you to manifest and it brings clarity in to help move you forward in your manifestations and things that you want to, to have happen. And so for any of you who are, I wouldn't always, I, I'm going to use the word resisting, but it's not like you're always resisting. But for any of you who are too busy, not paying attention, or you're not feeling spiritually aligned enough to really go, you know what, I have to, I'm feeling the urge to clear some of this stuff out. Maybe you're entirely spiritually aligned and you're like, but I need to do dinner and I have these meetings to attend so I don't have time to clear up these things. If you don't make time to clear up these, these things that you need to clear, clear up, energetically loose ends, things that have been bothering you, uh, the wave will still come through and try to push. And as it pushes this energy that is still stuck in your energetic field, that is past energy, as it pushes, it's still stuck to you. So when it pushes, you can have a reaction, if you will, of feeling very tired, lethargic, um, maybe even depressed, and it can actually physically um, make joints and different things like that hurt. You can, you can feel it physically 
as the energy is trying to push through you and, it, and it's sticking and it's stuck and you're not allowing that to be energetic released. So if that's happening to you, if you're feeling like you have um, some stuff that is really stuck or you're just feeling tired, lethargic, and you're not understanding why you're not feeling uh, clearly uplifted, you're probably stuck in phase one, which is where you need to address and release anything that has been bothering you or anything in the past that needs to be handled. If you don't know what that is, you need to sit and think about it for a minute. Address and release anything that you've been not handling, not doing, uh, that's been on your mind. Uh, if it's junk in the corner that you need to clear out, take to Goodwill, whatever it is, um, make sure that you address that and handle it. When you start handling that, you'll immediately notice, because the wave is consistently coming through, you'll immediately notice feeling lighter and more clarity, and that will just sweep out your system, and then it will allow for the new manifestations to come through, so it'll actually help you get in alignment. So for those of you who are actually running around, it's funny because my um, family members, with not even realizing it, every time I'm going somewhere in the house, like somebody's handling something uh, um, or extended family, they're either spring cleaning something or like this has really been bothering me and they handle that. They're fixing stuff that has been driving them nuts and none of them even know about this, uh, what I've been talking about as far as the eclipse energy. But all around me, People are fixing things and addressing things that have been driving them nuts and throwing out old stuff that, that they no longer want anymore. So if you're feeling, if you're feeling lethargic, not as clear, my, my guess is that you have been resisting uh, releasing past ties and past energy. You may be totally spiritually aligned, but you're just shoving it under the rug going, I don't have time. Um, I have other things to do. And I'll get to it later, but that's not a good idea because this energy wave is extremely powerful and it can really work in your favor. So uh, don't get to it later. Try to get to it now and see what happens as you move forward, okay? So hopefully that was helpful and have a wonderful day. If you like the videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll put my Facebook group below in case that you're wanting to get involved more in those conversations. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.